You let's talk about your recent work, and then we'll kind of backtrack too. Man, you and one of I think a phenomenal, which will definitely be a classic in my opinion, uh, the Irishman. Mm. Okay, but I'm looking for you. I know you read the, the book. No, I have not. You should read the book. Is the book did the person that wrote the movie? Did they were they also the person that wrote the book? No, uh, no, um, two different people, but. Uh, a lot of what's in the book is in this movie. It's kind of, I, I think that's why also the movie is so long because it's really, I don't, I don't think there was anything Marty, I think Steve Zalian wrote the script and there really wasn't much to take out of uh, the, 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 the book. You, you kind of needed it all to, to, to put all the pieces together. So, uh, but the book is a great read. I enjoyed the book. So, you know, if someone sees this before they see the movie, they're going to see your face, obviously. They're going to go watch the movie. They're going to be... Well, some people didn't know it was me. They're going to be, where the fuck is Dominic? Right. Now, you played a legendary mafioso. Yeah. Okay, you played the who part... Was in the, who, who, who surprisingly was a big part of that documentary we were talking about before, that the one that's on Netflix now. Uh, Fat Tony Salerno. Yeah, he was a big part of it uh, towards the end. And, um, I mean, brother, they made you look like an old man. Yeah, I, 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 mean, I was the only one really in the movie aged up. I mean, some of the other characters were aged up. How many pounds of makeup do you wear? That, there, no, nobody that much. How many pounds of makeup? It's like you 23 know? pieces. Wow. How long did it take to put all that stuff on? Anywhere from four, four and a half to six hours. Just to put it on. Yeah, because it's different ages. There's like three different ages there. Wow. So, you know, the older, the, you know, um, the older he was, the more pieces there were with the neck and like all the stuff down here, more the eyes, the coloring. Did you get you know, it? The spots on. No, it was just very hot. Start sweating. Get some water build up. It was just very uncomfortable. Then they had the fat suit on. I got to a certain. <laughs> that um, sucks, bro. Yeah. I got to a certain weight. And then once you do the mold, once they do a casting of, of, your, of your face and everything. You have to do that also. Right. That's a pain in the ass. Then too. you can't really move away from that. Because now all those pieces that they make are, are molded for for those measurements. So if you were 230 pounds when you did the most, you got to stay 230. You were 200, you stay 200. You know, you can't. So really you were monitoring fluctuate. your weight, huh? Yeah, so I got up to about 235. Now you look like you're in pretty good shape. You work out often? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm not a little a, job. Yeah, I'm not. I've seen some pictures of you golfing. You golf? Yeah. I golfed yesterday, actually, yeah. I mean, are you good? Or are you just like it for I fun? I shot like an 85 yesterday. Anyway, like 82, 83, 84, 85. I, I, some days I could shoot a 92. It was 92 degrees yesterday. Yeah, it was hot. How was it? You were at a, at, a, at a golf event, a charity yeah. event, right? Yeah, yeah. How'd that go? Pretty well. What were they raising money for? Uh, there wasn't, uh, yesterday thing wasn't a charity event. Oh, it was just a, like a yeah, gathering? Yeah, I committed to uh, playing with this person, so. You Did know, you beat him? Do, yeah. Dominic Lombardozzi, winner. Yeah. Now, getting back to the Irishman, man, you're doing the scene with Pesci, man. Guys, are first day of work. The guy hasn't come. The guy hasn't. This scene. This scene was my first day of work. What was that like? Um, it took me. <clears throat> it took me um, like ten minutes to uh, put everything to the side. After you're in costume. Yeah. Well. This particular scene, everybody worked in this scene, because this um, this is the scene where they're giving uh, Frank Sheeran the uh, the Man of the Year award, and Hoffa is presenting the award to him. So you have Hoffa playing, you have De Niro playing, obviously me and Pesci, but at my table you have Ray Romano, Stephen Graham, uh, Catherine Narducci. Ray did a great job. Three people too, on my table that are, are actual friends of mine. Not only are they colleagues, but they're actual friends. 
Then, you know, you have Bobby Cannavale, a table over. You got I got uh, Plemons behind me. I got, you know, uh, Harvey Keitel, a couple of tables over. Everybody played in this scene, and everybody was there because there's a lot of floating cameras. Phenomenal cast, man. I mean, there's no denying it. Yeah. Amazing cast. And so my first day, really didn't get to talk to Joe. I, be perfectly honest, I really didn't get to talk to Marty that much either. You know, I came to work that day at two thirty, three o'clock in the morning. Went you talking about Marty Scorsese, right? Marty Scorsese went straight into hair and makeup, and then um, it's about seven, seven thirty, eight o'clock. They uh, call a blocking. Blocking is when all the actors come, and they, you know, we basically walk walk through the scene and where we're going to be, where the camera's going to be, you know, what works for camera, what doesn't work, what Marty wants, what the, basically it's like a little prep session, right? And, and, and then when you're done with it, that's what you're going to be doing. You got that, you know, where your marks are going to be, you know, where everything's going to be. Uh, it's not so much for tone. It's more for camera. So you're doing that. And then I just had to, I'm not working with one of the guys that I, I, for me, it's always been Joe Pesci. Always. So you're working with someone. People is it always, the, I love De Niro. I love Pacino, but there was always something about Joe. Sonny, as they call him no? Al Pacino. Isn't that yeah. his nickname? Uh, I don't know. That's what I heard. Um, I met him. I had the honor yeah. of meeting him. Great guy. Uh, great to be to. on set with. A um, lot of energy. Um, was it the first time you met Pesci? First time I met Pesci, obviously I worked with De Niro before that, twice, and uh, first time working with Marty. Although Marty produced Boardwalk Empire, and he also produced a small independent film that I did called The Wannabe. So I I, I kind of been affiliated with him, but never worked with him like this. And uh, Al, I never worked with before, and. But Pesci's always been my guy. You know what it means to say, let's say the world ends right now, all hell breaks loose, civil war, Armageddon, whatever you want to call it, to say that at least before this world went down and my life's over, I worked with the best of the best, bro. Do you know why? Because you wanted them, bro. Oh, well, I have a feeling we're going to see some amazing things from you in the future. I appreciate that. And I'm that. calling it here on the show, man. I appreciate that because I I think whatever role you're in, you add that that authenticity to the role, man. I, I'm telling you, but I'm not just saying this because ah, oh, you're cool and you know my family. I've always been a big fan of your work. To me, it's not how big or how small the parts, how you play the part, man. I've, I've been I gotta tell you, man. Uh, even early on in my career, I, I've been fortunate enough to work with some of my uh, some of my icons, like Sidney Lumet. De Niro, Marty, um, actors, uh, you, you know, and I, 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 I've been, I, I've been fortunate when it comes, when it comes to that. Next lover.